Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in example 14 of IGCSE of IGCSE and it is on page 120 and we want to we are still dealing with formation and solve and then and, and, and solving quadratic equation when you're told that a rectangular fish pond is six meters by nine meters the pond is surrounded and you can see this is the pond six meters and nine meters and the pond is surrounded by a path of constant width constant width if this wind is x this must be x this must be x and that must be x constant wind the area of the pond is equals to the area of the path meaning that the area of pond which is actually basically 9 times 6 which is 54 meters squared because we are told that is the pond the area of the path this one is also going to be 54 meters squared because we are told the area of the pond is equals to the area of the path find the width of the path let the width of the path be x and one thing we know is that if the area of the pond is equal to the area of the entire path the moment we get the area of the whole rectangle that include the pond and the path we must be talking about these dimensions 9 plus 2x why 2x because we have x there and another x we have we have this x and we have this x this is 9 and this is plus this x plus this x so that stretch is 9 plus 2x incidentally this stretch is now going to be 6 because from here to here is 6 plus that x plus that x so this is going to be 6 plus 2x that if we get length times width we are going to get the entire area of the whole rectangle that includes the pond and the path but if we subtract the area of the pond from the entire rectangle we are supposed to be left with the area of the path again you can see the area of the pond is 54 and the area of the path is 54 so we can literally say area of entire rectangle minus area of pond is equals to area of the path that is what we know so what is the area of the entire rectangle of course 2x plus 9 multiplied by 2x plus 6 um, which is basically 4x uh, squared plus 12x plus 18x plus 54 if you collect the like terms you're going to have 4x squared plus 30x plus 54 that is the area of the entire rectangle minus the area of the pond which we know to be 54 so minus 54 is equals to the area of the path because the entire rectangle the moment we subtract the area of the pond we are left with the area of this path which is also equals to 54 look at that so we can have 54 minus 54 giving us 0 so we have 4x squared plus 30x uh, that cancels with that is equals to 54 and because it's going to be a quadratic equation then 54 can always come to the left and have 4x squared plus 30x minus 54 is equals to 0. 
When you look at this, we can already talk about simplifying. This is now the fourth stage. And because 4, 30, and 54, all of them can be divided uh, by a 2, and we divide everything by 2, so dividing all by 2, we have 2x squared plus 15x minus 27 is equals to 0. And this one, let's try if we could give it an a B, A, C approach because we have used the quadratic formula in the last two examples, B, A, C approach. If it doesn't work this way, then we can employ completing the square. B is 15 and A, C is minus 2 times, uh, minus 27 times 2, which is minus 54. So which two numbers do we multiply? They give us minus 54. And the same numbers we add, they give us uh, a 15. Hint, the two numbers are having, one number is having negative sign and the other one is having positive sign. And the number with the positive sign is the one which is bigger than the one with the negative sign. And it goes without saying, we could talk about minus minus uh, 3 times 18, which is giving us minus 54. Minus 3 plus 15, uh, plus 18 rather, which is giving us positive 15. And those are the factors that we acquire. So we can easily substitute them in the middle term. And we have 2x squared uh, minus, um, or rather plus 18x minus 3x, uh, minus 27 is equals to 0. In the first two terms, 2x is common, so 2x. And in the bracket, we have x plus, uh, let's say, 9. Uh, x plus 9. And, and, and that's where we are. In the second two terms, then minus 3 is common. And in the bracket, x, because of minus 3x divided by minus 3, we have x. Minus 27 divided by minus 3 is positive 9. And I told you in uh, one of my videos, if you will ever use factorization method and you realize that this bracket is not identical to this, then please know you are wrong and go for an alternative method. But in our case, yes, they are identical. So we have... Um, x plus 9, we form one bracket. This is identical bracket, so we write it only once. 2x minus 3 is equals to 0. If this is the case, two numbers, two brackets multiplied and the product is a 0, it is either one of the bracket, which could be this one, is 0, because 0 times anything is 0. And if this is true, then x is equals to negative 9. Or it could be it is the second bracket that is equals to 0, such that anything times 0 is going to be 0. 2x minus 3 is going to be 0. And if this is true, 2x is equals to 3. If this is continuing to be true, then x is equals to 3 over 2, which is 1.5 meters. And of course, because we are talking about by dimensions and length and width of the path, this one is not possible it is not practical so the only possible value of x is 1.5 is, is, is 1.5 meters so we can conclude and say x is equals to 1.5 meters and that becomes the width of the path which is represented in the diagram as uniform width which is x and x is always 1.5 meters Fine, once again, visit my YouTube channel, Pearson at Excel International Maths by Mr. Kamoto and subscribe. And of course, share widely and let us work to. <laughs> All right.